Okay, we just did one function that didn't really do much except for print to the screen. Now we're going to do a little bit more in-depth uh, with functions. I'll show you a couple different things. Let's include our IO stream and our integer main function. And return 0, which means exit successful. So for every function that you want to create, you have to have a function header. And now this time, let's do something a little bit more elaborate than just printing stuff to the screen. Let's have it do a calculation. So let's say it um, multiply something by itself, and it'll return a value. So let's return from the function a value called a double. So in other words, a very large um, decimal integer or decimal value can be returned from this function. So the, the double function, I'm going to call it uh, mult, and I'm going to bring in parameters from whatever's calling it. I'm going to I'm going to bring in a a double value called um, first and a double value called second. This is just arbitrary I'm making it up now. Now remember, this is the function header. Doesn't do anything except for tell the compiler to go look for this definition. So I'm going to copy this down and actually define it below my main function. So get rid of the semicolon open up brackets and here we go so now the difference between this one and the other one was we had a void here before which meant this function called malt that takes in two parameters two double parameters it'll return a double to whatever called it alright so let's 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 go ahead and build the function then I'll talk more about it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna return a value that is first times second and I know it doesn't look like much now, but I'll go into detail here in a second. Okay, so to call this, let's let's print out something called we're going to call our function malt within our C out. I'm going to bring in two numbers, two point two three and the number seven, and put a semicolon there. And of course, let's do our little pause thing so we can see the output. Um, integer pause C in pause. F12 to compile or to, re to build and then F5 to run and we have 16.1 right so 16.1 is 2.3 times 7 so let me walk you through this and tell you exactly what's going on here we have a function header where we initialize it then we have the main function the main function is the first function that's called in any C++ program okay now we're going to see out to the stream, to the, to the monitor, and what we're seeing out is the result of calling this malt function with two parameters. 2.3 is a double parameter, and 7 is a parameter. It is automatically casted to a double because it knows that doubles are going into that function. So what happens is when you call this malt function with these two parameters, that 2.3 becomes the variable called first and the seven becomes the variable called second and it's always in order like that when I do the return I'm returning a double and this is a double because it's a decimal value value what it does it first does the first time second gets that value replaces that value right here and then it returns that value to whatever called it what called it it called it right here and then the see out can properly see out the result to the screen so that is uh, another function in a nutshell. Now you can have multiple functions with the same name with different parameters. So you can do malt double first, double second, and double third, whatever you want to call it. But you have to define it separately down here get rid of the semicolon and let's just do a return first times second times third and I'm gonna run this program like it is just to show that there's no errors so F12 no errors and it should still run just fine 16.1 right so now but I can call another function same name but with three parameters let's call it two three and one point Seven. You can double check the math if you'd like. Hit F12. It's, there's not going to be any spaces or anything, so it's just going to show 16.1 and then the 10.2. Uh, but you get the idea that you can have 
two functions with the same name but different parameters. And so now you can start doing things that are useful if you're going to repeat. Functions are good for repeating things. Um, you can also define variables like double x equals 2.3 and instead of putting 2.3 in there we can just put x. Lots of different things you can do with functions. Let's put the uh, end L on there to make it a little cleaner. So we have a variable within our function parameter. Hit F12. Oop, I uh, put a semicolon there, no semicolon. F12 and no errors. F5, run it. 16.1 and 10.2. So you get the idea. You can put variables within there. You can return values as long as you put the value you're returning in the uh, function header. Return a double.